Hmm. The universe is coming to an end. Well, at least the Marvel Universe is. In a live announcement on Tuesday, editors Tom Bavrut and Axel Alonso revealed what pretty much everybody already guessed about the upcoming Secret Wars event. During the Secret Wars storyline, the Marvel Universe as we know it will collide with dozens of other alternate realities for a battle royale that will ultimately finish with a brand new reality. And most exciting of all? If you're an amazing Spider-Man reader, if you're a Spider-Man fan, this is going to be your book. That's right. Suck it one more day. Of course, there was another big presentation on Tuesday as well. President Barack Obama delivered a State of the Union address which set the tone of what we can expect for the next two years. From supporting daycare to raising the minimum wage to offering two free years of community college, the President presented several policy ideas that are very popular with the nation and have no chance of getting through Congress. Thankfully, the night wasn't a total wash because the President finished off his speech with this amazing verbal smackdown to any Republican who thinks that a midterm victory means they have any sort of mandate. I have no more campaigns to run. My only agenda, I know because I won both of them. Um. And if that wasn't enough, there was another big presentation this week as Microsoft revealed more features from the upcoming Windows 10. They made a big deal about how Cortana will be constantly learning about you. She knows things about you and she's there to be helpful. Cortana keeps getting smarter and smarter over time, who gets to know things about you. It is the world's most personal digital assistant. I don't know, chatting with a personal AI seems really cool when Iron Man does it, but this comes off as a little creepy. For video games, DirectX 12 will be exclusive to Windows 10, and the OS will allow for streaming from your Xbox to your PC, in case that's something you're interested in doing. There was some really cool virtual reality stuff that I can't imagine works as well as it looks, but still looks really awesome. And most importantly, anybody running Windows 7 or 8 will be able to upgrade for free during the first year of its release. In other news, I've got to make a card game, or at least get the oatmeal to promote something for me. A new Kickstarter came up this week for Exploding Kittens. Created by The Oatmeal's Matthew Inman, along with game designers Ellen Lee and Shane Small, the card game started with a modest $10,000 goal and is currently sitting at 3.7 million in pledges. And with the Super Bowl coming up, two Marvel Studios stars have taken to Twitter to trash talk on behalf of their favorite teams. Chris Evans, who appropriately enough is a Patriots fan, called out the Seahawks fan Chris Pratt. The verbal sparring ended with a bet between the two actors that'll no doubt result in one or both of them showing up in costume at a children's hospital in the near future. In other comic book movie news, Brian Singer has announced three new cast members for X-Men Apocalypse. Alexandria Ship will be our new Storm, while Ty Sheridan and Game of Thrones' Sophie Turner will play the young Cyclops and Marvel Girl. Meanwhile, over in TV land, it's being reported that Glee's Melissa Benoist has been cast as Kara zor for CBS's Supergirl project. And finally, bad news for Club Nintendo fans. Nintendo announced that the rewards program is being discontinued after six years. New products are no longer eligible for registration, current members will have until the end of March to earn coins, and all coins must be redeemed before the end of June or else they'll be deleted forever. And that leaves us with this week's awesome video. Mr. TV Cow showed this week why the lightsaber hilt is a bad idea. It's not only dangerous, it encourages silly one-upsmanship. And that's it for this week. What do you think of the Marvel Universe ending? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe, maybe pass this video around to your friends, and as always, have a great week.